About 25 years ago, I was in a regular brick-and-mortar church, a big ministry, and the ministry was a wonderful ministry, but every day, probably a hundred times, I'd be getting these memos in envelopes that said ASAP, and it was always stamped in red, ASAP which to the world means as soon as possible. Well, I changed that around. To ASAP, always say a prayer. ASAP, always say a prayer. My friend, if you have pressures on you that are tearing you down in daily life, When you see someone require of you ASAP, you require of you to say a prayer. Always say a prayer. Before any project, before handling any note, before handling any letter, always say a prayer. And you'll find that you are taken to a new level, that you become a new person. I complained one time to the head of the church organization, Reverend Glenn Mosley. I, I said, you know, I could do my job much better if it wasn't for the interruptions. And he just smiled and he said, interruptions are your job. I'm remembered, I remember that today because my friend just passed away. He passed away of covid So many in this ministry have passed away from COVID. I mean, that I know of, hundreds. And and I know there are countless others that I don't know of. And if it's touched your family, I say a prayer for you. Well, I would find myself on Saturday morning or even Saturday afternoon, where I didn't have a sermon for Sunday morning. And I had three sermons that I needed, three different sermons for Sunday. And I would uh, be quite fatigued sometimes on Sunday morning because I stayed up half the night finishing what I needed to finish. And that is the whole reason that we do our sermon service free of charge to ministers, to help them in their daily walk with God. Because sometimes there are so many interruptions that you just can't handle at all. So I'm going to ask you to always say a prayer. It will turn around your day. It will turn around your week. And here is a way that I want you to start. I have an Apple phone. I can set it to go off every hour. And it causes my watch to vibrate. At the top of the hour, it vibrates. And I stop and I say a prayer. Now, many people have told me over the years that they have to have their hands in a certain position or that they have to be at a proper elevation above sea level, and that they have to be in a certain body posture to uh, pray effectively, that they have to be very sincere, close their eyes, and do it with great intent. Do I have to do that when I talk to you, my beloved friend? No. And how much more of a beloved friend is God? You don't have to close your eyes. You don't have to make a scene in your workplace by folding your hands, bowing your head. You just, with eyes open, you connect with God and you connect with yourself. You tell yourself what you can do. You tell yourself what you can't do also that you need God's help in the areas of the I can't in you. And you do that at the start of every hour. 
then everything that is asked of you, if you get a memo that says ASAP, you remember to always say a prayer. Now, does the prayer have to be long? Does it have to be a certain length? No. You're talking to your best friend. You're talking to your creator. And you just simply say, Dear God, help me in this moment. I'm handling a project right here that says ASAP. I go to you first and I ask for your help. And God will always give you that kind of help. God will cause time to expand. You'll find yourself with more than enough time to do what you need to do. ASAP, always say a prayer. God bless you, my friend.